Hello, welcome to Scene Through Glass, and welcome to the latest episode of My Next Car. Today, Tony and I have jumped into a Maserati Gran Cabrio Sport. I don't imagine you expected me to be test driving one of these, and if I'm honest, nor did I. But, with the short turn of a key, you'll probably understand why I'm considering it. Oh! This thing sounds outrageous. So I think all we can do is go for a bit of a drive and talk about Maseratis. Discovered driving to this location is really you have to be in sport mode the whole time and you have to manual. be in manual. It transforms this car from being what is a sort of quite comfortable Grand Tourer into actually quite an enjoyable experience, isn't yeah. it? So uh, I'll show you now. I'm going to crack the window a little bit and me. Downshifting endlessly outside their house. Not that quick, is it? We've been here a while. Now, unfortunately, as cool as we now look, driving around in a, in a Do we? convertible metal <laughs> ride, we have to have the windows up, which is like the worst, like it's an even worse look, but it's for the audio of the GoPro. Heated seats. Heated seats. Which this car's got heated somewhere. seats. the Grand Cabrio Sport, so this isn't even the MC Stradale, and there are MC Stradales which are kind of like within the budget, so that is a potential. That's a potential, yeah. Coupe. But, as I say, for me, if I'm looking at Maseratis, I kind of want to look at the, the lower end, because that's where they kind of sit. I don't think I would spend 110 grand or so on an, an MC Stradale, because then you're talking about 12C kind of money, which for me is more fitting. And depreciation as well. Because that's exactly it. The the Maserati in general is a grand tour, something which I think I want to move away from. Yeah. And you know we've got back seats. I don't have friends. I don't need back seats, so that's pointless. You don't have children. I don't have children. Well, I might do. About. Yeah, yeah, that I know about. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the biggest thing for me is inside. It's a bit dated. Very dated. We're like really dated. Very dated. We were saying that the the music sound system thing looks like a sort of Siemens mobile phone or yeah. an additional... Do you remember the old banana phone that used to flick up? <laughs> no. no, you're a bit young. Before my time. Before your time, yeah. But, but... The noise, the noise, man. <laughs> they probably can't even hear us in here. This is a stock exhaust. Oh, no. It's a stock in... exhaust. Can you put an exhaust on it? Of course. Can would you? you? Would you need to? You wouldn't need to, would you? Postman's fuming. Yeah, everyone's, everyone hates us. Everyone hates us. <laughs> the dog's just pooed itself. Oh, we look like complete <laughs> idiots. Like completely. Which is why I wouldn't have a convertible. But purely for the soundtrack, it's enjoyable. And Sam, I'm freezing. Are you? Yes, God. <laughs> I'm I'm hot with adrenaline. Have you got your hat on? Yeah, but not the not the warm one. I went for the sunshine hat today. The other thing is. 
I'm not sure it feels that quick. It's it feels fast. quite big and heavy, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's not. It's very uh, cumbersome. Yes, that's exactly it. Which you know, it's great if you're just cruising around like yes. this. But when you want to absolutely hoon it, yeah, this isn't. This isn't a car to. It's the, not very agile. What the brakes? Go on, go on, go on, go on. It probably needs a bit more urgency. Yeah. Send you an email to change gear. Gearbox actually isn't awful. It's not that I bad. thought it was going to be a lot worse. This is obviously a brand new car, demo car, so it's got the latest gearbox from Maserati. But... Lovely noise. Oh, that exhaust on the gear changes though. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's put the roof back up, I think, yeah. because, yeah, I mean, it, I, I, I'm, getting, I'm getting a bit cold now. Yeah. Um, and we can be a little bit sensible for two seconds. Oh. Yeah, this takes an age, doesn't it? What have you been up to? Well, not a lot. Just been filming with some bloke. Oh. Yeah, that's a bit boring. Yeah, a little bit boring. It's like waiting for a roof to go up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to anyone who has a convertible Maserati. I can imagine that it is an awesome experience. Oh, we're now holding up someone's driveway. <laughs> we, we are now, even, we're we're now even more douchebags. Roof closed. Okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry. we're Thank douchebags. You. Sorry. Windows up, please. But yeah, I just think, oh, more windows up. They don't do that all automatically. Oh, don't they? No. Oh. Okay, so let's go back out of sport into auto. And calm down. And calm down for a second. Because yeah, you know, there's a massive, for me, uh, appreciation for firstly, the Maserati badge and the Italian nature of this car. Secondly, of course, the soundtrack. Thirdly, I think you still can't get away from this. It's a very good looking car. Pretty. You know, whilst they haven't changed it for seven odd years, they don't need to, because I think it still looks fantastic. Yeah. But the negatives for me are, it's big, it's not that quick, it's a bit dated inside. It's not nimble. It's not nimble, apparently not very reliable. What are the brakes like? Spongy. Are they? Yeah, spongy. But again, as I say, you could go the MC Stradale route, but, but literally, for me, probably the biggest pro to this car is the price point. Yeah, because it's you know good you're, you're, yeah, you're sub 100k. Yeah, it is good value. Which is good value for money, and you know, I love saving money. <laughs> yeah. As much as I love cars, I also love saving money. What, okay, you have the option. Take me out of the equation. 95 grand, what would you buy instead? That's the question. Of this? No, yeah, yeah. Okay, you've got 95 grand. What would you buy? Does it have to be a Grand Toro? No. It can be anything. Yeah, 95 grand. RS6. Oh, what? Okay, that has to be a bit more supportive. Right? Okay. Um, you got 95 grand for a sports car. For a sports car. Can be a Grand Tour, can be a mid engine, can be a thing. 95 grand. 911. Yeah. That. As much as I'm not a big Porsche guy, and I'm excited for our test driving that to sort of get to grips with Porsche again, because I've been—it's been a while. I think over this. Yeah. As much as it's got flair and big shifter panels and an awesome soundtrack, uh, yeah, it's just a bit. As a machine, it's not for me. It's very under-engineered. Yeah, a little bit. It, it's very dated. For great, this, great, great. Don't get me wrong, yeah, great, yeah, yeah, yeah. but great maybe five years ago. If you could put the Porsche engineering. With this engine, yeah. with this engine noise. Okay. Yeah. Because the thing is, you know, uh, we could have, I say, we could have probably tried to track down an MC Australia, wait a couple of weeks and try to get our hands on one of those. And, and I appreciate, guys, that you, that's probably a much better, more refined car. But when I went for my passenger lap very kindly with the guys in San Francisco, a lot of things that we're picking up on, he mentioned as well. Did he? He did say, look, it's a brilliant car, but it's very dated inside, it is heavy. He remapped it's like 700 horsepower because he's like, it doesn't feel quick enough in the freaking MC. So, if he's saying that as an owner, and we're picking up on a on a test drive, I think yeah. even even if we were to look at the Interstellar, it probably still would have quite a few of the our concerns or issues. Yeah, I think you own this for an hour, and you think, what have I done? No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. Yeah. I think I think we're gonna have to pass on this one, Tony. It's been great. I've enjoyed the experience. I'm glad we came out and did it to but, rule it out. But I th yeah, I think. Yeah. But yeah. just before we go and hand it back. Let's make some noise. Sport mode, yeah. Back in the manual gearbox, if our windows all work.
Now, before we hand the car back, there was one thing that I do want to show you very quickly um, that I meant to show you or talk about, which is the boot in the Grand Cabrio. So, this, unbelievably, is it. That is my rucksack. That is literally all you can get in... I mean, there's nothing... There's a, that's a bottle of water for scale. It is truly minuscule. But anyway, it's been an awesome experience today. Tony, thank you for setting up this test drive because it was definitely not one that I thought I was going to do, so I appreciate that massively. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, all you Maserati guys out there. Give it a thumbs up if you have, and make sure to subscribe for plenty more test drives to come.